Greetings! Today's educational game that I play is the Resistance Comparison Puzzle. This is another fun physics homework exercise when study electricity. And this time I will compare objects with different resistance. Again, I will use some dries to move them. You can see. And Okay, on this scale, we have the first object should be with zero ohms, which actually have no resistance. And, uh, so the electrical current should flow through these objects without any obstacle. And on the other side, I have the infinite resistance which should be an object that doesn't allow any electricity. And what should that object be? That should be the electrical resistance of the vacuum. So, in general, in vacuum, the, well, <laughs> it is understandable, the electrons just cannot go through anywhere in the vacuum because there is nothing there, right? And the object with no resistance should be the superconductor. Uh, I think this device is uh, theoretical still, but uh, there are uh, surely uh, people that have made that superconductor up or at least have tried to. Now, uh, let me make the rest of them. Maybe somewhere in the middle is uh, where we have uh, smaller resistance and bigger resistance. So, okay, let's see. The the electrical resistance of aluminum. <clears throat> now I know the aluminum is the aluminum. <laughs> I finally pronounced this correctly, I think. Aluminum. Uh, it have it has a good electrical resistance, so it should be somewhere to the left, maybe 26 nano ohms. And the other good conductor is the electrical resistance of the copper. Copper. That should be 70 nano ohms. Okay, the next one, uh, there is a hint. This is the electrical resistance of the mercury. It has good conductance. And I think Okay, the wind, the wind shouldn't have, uh, uh, should have a lot of resistance, so maybe here, yes. In general, the, the air is not conductive, so uh, we have big resistance there. Right, I think the rubber should be next with 10 beta ohms, yes. And I also know that the glass is a good insulator, so it should be with 100 tera ohms. All right, now the, the wood, the electrical resistance of wood, but uh, this is dry wood, okay? Because if uh, it is wet, it uh, lowers its resistance. So the, the dry wood should be 10 tera, tera ohms. This is a lot of resistance. In general, it is safe from electricity. And now, the resistance of the human body with dry skin, uh, that should be more resistant, like uh, 100 kilo ohms, and the electrical resistance of seawater at 20 degrees Celsius. Now, this is seawater. 
I know that the difference between sea and uh, distillate water is very big difference of resistance, in resistance. So the sea water should be 2 deci ohms. <laughs> uh, did I mention the equation resistance equal to voltage divided by the current? And this is the knowledge dosage for today, and thanks for watching.